Okay, this was the messiest, sexiest book about grief I've ever read. I, oh yeah, the book is called You Make a Fool of Death with Your Beauty. It grabbed me because it was on some list. I don't remember. The cover was cute. Uh, the title, long and interesting. And basically, hang on, let me just pull up what I actually saw here. I think it was on the list of best books of 2022. Okay, it's actually You Made a Fool of Death with Your Beauty. I feel like if I type You Make a Fool of Death, it should still know what I'm talking about. But yeah, it was picked as best romance of 2022. Uh... I think the thing that got me was it said, Faye Adekola wants to learn how to be alive again. It's been five years since the accident. And then I stopped reading. I was like, whatever. I'm so, I was like, whatever. I'm sold. I'll read it. Um, I normally don't like romances because I think romance is pretty boring. It's like, okay, I get it. You guys like each other. Who cares? Like all the stuff that happens in between is just going to, stuff that happens in between and in the end you get together so I was hesitant but in the end I needed a fluffy book to read and that was the vibe so I got it and what I didn't know but what ended up making the book really interesting was that the main character is an artist so I'm an artist and she really dove into her art and used it as a way to process her grief which is something that I could relate to so yeah so I ended up really enjoying the book um it was messy the drama was unreal I felt like I was texting when I would text my friends about the book I felt like I was talking about real people because the drama was just so it, it kind of reminded me of Insecure in some ways, like the friendships and the way that people talked to each other and um, just like the whole vibe, the carefreeness of it was really nice. And there were some moments in the actual book that I liked so much that I made a note of. And so this one was interesting. This, they didn't have an audiobook. So I borrowed like the ebook and I would just read it. So I couldn't really read it while drawing, but I could read it and then like think about it while drawing. Like it was it was like the main book and like what I, the storyline that I was thinking of while working on the drawing I just finished and this one that I'm working on now. And also lately I've been reading a few books at a time so they're all kind of having an impact in one way or another on the way I think about art and especially me being someone who uses who used art like to work through a lot of the grief that I was dealing with years ago it was really refreshing reading such a great account of someone else doing that and how like what a great tool it is and how relatable it can be for other people because there's some things about grief that you just you can't put into words and I don't think I'd even want to put them into words (laughs) and then it's like it's the kind of thing people don't I don't think people really want to hear but looking at work and sharing the experience that way just feels like one of the best ways at least for me to express it. So I I went through and I would like screen cap and highlight passages passages that I thought were interesting. Um, one of them was Faye, the main character, thinking to herself as she's working through a particularly difficult and messy and dramatic situation. Because remember, this is a romance. I'm not going to spoil it, but some of the decisions made but in the end you support them but oh my lord so uh she's dealing with all that and she goes is this what the world is made up of millions of boxes filled with people and feelings and 
that resonated with me because sometimes I just sit and I'm like, really, is everyone just really sitting around emoting all the time? <laughs> like, it's exhausting when you think about it. Another one that I highlighted was she's reminiscing about someone she's lost. And he said, one of the best things about being human is how we can make such disasters and recover from them enough to make them into stories later. And that's always been something that's fascinated me about the human experience is when like you're getting to know someone or someone's getting to know me. And my camera like actually fell. Um, it seems fine though, but if the angles are a little different, that's why. Um, anyway, I was saying that oh my god I can't believe it didn't break honestly but I was saying that um what was I saying oh yeah I was saying that that's something so interesting and it's like comforting and almost kind of scary in a way that no matter what we go through we know eventually it's just gonna be another weirdo memory a story we tell like we're so resilient we can get through anything so I mean I've definitely been through things that are uncomfy and I'm like okay well you know what in a few months or years times like this is just going to be a story I tell so I liked that quote I felt like it was a really eloquently it was a really eloquent way to put that into words and this is why I love books because I'm not a writer so it's so refreshing seeing people say things that I've thought so eloquently uh, I also highlighted um, the narrator describing grief as um, navy blue in the air because I've always wondered, like, when I was, when I would make work about depression or about what it felt like to be sinking into it, I would always use, like, waves of blue, like, ocean, water, blue, and blue is a color that we associate with sadness a lot, and I... It, just reading that made me think about why that is a little more you guys know I don't work with color all that much I've been experimenting like with this putting pops of color in and thinking about what kind of emotion does this color evoke like when people see this are they going to feel stressed are they going to feel angry are they going to feel sad are they going to feel calm so that made me think in an artsy way <laughs> And, okay, let me find another one. I There were actually a lot of things that I highlighted. Oh, was that actually the last one? Yes, it was. <laughs> but, um, there, just the whole book was really lovely. It, it was a page turner. Good balance of, like, deep thought moments and just, like, fun, messy drama. And great character development really lovely relationships being built and explored uh, just nice things like I liked that there was a friendship where it always stresses me out in shows and movies where you meet like two close friends and then you have to watch them have some sort of fight or misunderstanding that destroys their friendship and then you're like oh my god like I know they're gonna sort it out like can they just hurry up and sort it out so the two best friends in this story that never happens they have each other's backs throughout which I feel like is more it's just refreshing and I think we all have a friend like that or we all want a friend like that who you're close enough to that you can tell them anything and they're there for you so that was nice um I've made a mistake up here. Let me fix that. But yeah, that was the book. I really enjoyed it. I finished it very recently. I almost didn't want to return it. Weirdly, like when I finish a book before it's due, I like just want to hold on to it a little longer. Uh, but someone had placed it on their hold list. They were waiting for it. So I was like, send it back off into the world. But I definitely recommend it don't be put off by it being a romance and it being messy I just feel like the summaries on book jackets never do them justice so I'm working on just kind of skimming those and then reading through it anyway because had I just I mean it being described as a romance 
like I said, I find those boring. So I'm glad that I assumed that there was more to it and read it. I mean, I guess it's tough. You're trying to summarize a book without spoiling it like I'm doing. But I kind of think I did a better job. I don't know. You tell me. Anyway, here is the progress we've got. I'll show... Well, you know what? I won't show you what it'll look like. All these... You know, I'm just getting distracted now. But all these lines are guidelines, literally. They're gonna go away. Boop, 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 boop. And then it's gonna look sick. Like, that's gonna look sick when it's done. All right. Bye.